Hello and welcome everybody to 1960s. Is this, is this what they were wearing in 1960? I think they were wearing Cubs caps, you know, baseball caps in 1960, but I'm going to wear this anyway. So what happened in 1960? Who won the Masters? Let me see. Oh, Arnold Palmer. A short while later, who won the US Open? Oh, Arnold Palmer. What kind of irons were he playing? Oh, he was playing. Did I say were playing? He was playing the Wilson Dynapower. And if you look at the irons, like I actually saw these when they when they auctioned off. I can't remember. It was a while ago. And they have Arnold Palmer stamped here above the Wilson right here. These are the Arnold Palmer, not this, but they were the Arnold Palmer like Wilson. And they had like holes drilled in them. It's interesting how we've changed a little bit, a little bit since the 60s. The 60s, this was just a chassis, all right? It was like you custom fit yourself. You know, you go to your local pro and they'll custom fit you. Here's the club, okay? Wilson Dynapower staff model iron here. Today, it's kind of similar, isn't it? They're like, oh, let's put some weights. It's like a BMW, okay? So one of my friends recently bought a BMW and <laughs> he and his family spent like three weeks like getting everything worked out. Oh, we can we can, can remember the seat adjustments and so he and then his wife and then you know his oldest son who can drive is like, oh, we're gonna adjust it to each one. Then it's like, it felt like it's not the case, but it felt like BMW like almost finished it at the factory and then shipped it to you and said, you finish it, you customize it, good luck, you know? That's what irons were like. It's like, here, go fix it. And it's amazing to see what Arnold Palmer did with his club. So either way, this is the chassis. This is one that I was super excited about. I was gonna dress up and then I realized I don't have the style that Arnold Palmer does or the presence. So we're just gonna get this club on the review table and have a closer look. So easy to recognize, staff model, Dyna powered, and then there's the Wilson staff crest right here with a Wilson up here by the top line. The sole says fluid feel here by the bore through hosel. We have the iron number down here on the sole. It looks like there's a little forgiveness on this one. Again, not sure if that was just beat into it or if it came factory like that. Uh, let me show you the toe profile so you can see the muscle. Very Wilson-esque muscle right there. Same with the heel profile. Top line, looks great. I'm not seeing any offset there. Uh, if there is, I mean, this is a five iron. I'm just not seeing any offset. And if we look at my strikes, you'll watch that here in a minute. I, I'm missing a little bit heel. Which is funny because when you look at the Arnold Palmer one, if you search it, you'll see the Arnold Palmer one. I'm probably not even going to roll in any pictures. I think it was from an auction site. But he, they drilled holes in the toe, and it looks like they added lead. So they made it a little bit more toe biased there. And then he has Arnold Palmer stamped. stamped um, I think it was above the Wilson right here. Arnold Palmer. It's lovely. His irons are lovely. Either way, moving up the shaft, we have, you know, obviously... It's pinned. The hosel is grooved, knurled, groove, plain black ferrule. Actually, this looks like it's a black gold ferrule, so gold ring ferrule right here. We move up the step shaft, but look at this. So it's stepless, like halfway up, maybe, it seems like it's halfway, maybe more, about a third. And then we move to these steps right here. You can see the Staff Pro by Wilson branded regular flex. Shaft right here, this is my sticker to remind me of the year. And then we have a victory grip. Swing right, grip right. You can see here, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it says golf pride, victory made in the USA grip. So it's a lovely iron. Uh, looking at some little details here, the grooves you'll see, there are these claret jugs. There's some sort of trophy on the either side. So there's some embellishment here on the grooves. And the toe, look at the toe, it's kind of rounded. They put forgiveness, they put more forgiveness on the toe than they did on the leading edge. Interesting, that's kinda weird. We'll see if it bothers me out on the range. Let's show you the footage of when I took this out and hit a few balls with it. Wilson Dynapower, five iron, staff model right here. Absolutely lovely, like looking down at this. Oh, look at this lovely rounded top line, framed nicely with that those embellishments on either side, those uh, markings on either side of the grooves, frames the club up nicely. It looks beautiful. 
in my opinion, Wilson always made, in my opinion, Wilson made some of the best irons ever for decades. <clears throat> and modern companies really struggled with that. They're like, well, we can't improve on that. And so they ended up just cranking lofts and making their clubs longer, trying to get more distance. And I, you know, you read on forums, people are like, oh, well, this seven iron goes further than my Wilson seven iron, so I can't go back to the old stuff. You're like, well, do you want a seven iron to go longer than your seven iron? I don't know. I don't have an answer. But for me, I don't. I'm looking for consistency over, you know, a seven iron going longer than a seven iron should. But that's the world we live in. All right, five iron, let's see how we do. Oh, that felt amazing. My usual draw right off the bat. Oh my goodness. Love it. Feels amazing, sounds amazing. Of course I am outdoors. There's a little breeze here. Nothing to write home about. But yeah, so let's try to hit one a little bit straighter. See if I can uh, straighten out my swing a little bit. There we go. Lovely. That one was a little high on the face it felt like. Didn't quite go as far as that first one. Nah, miss it. We'll give that one a miss hit. My fault. All right. Same thing. I'm going to hit one more just like that, and then I'm going to try to fade one a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it feels really, why did, why don't we play, why don't we all play classic Wilson blades? Why would we not? All right, let's fade a little one here. They're supposed to be workable, right? How hard could it be to work one of these? Oh, where's my fade? A barely fade on that one? You're supposed to be workable. Silly forged blade. Let's try one more. All right, here we go. Move it forward in my stance a little bit, come down on it, fade this bad boy. Come on, I'm not gonna hit a bigger fade than that. Well, there you go. Nah, that's the best I could do for a fade. But yeah, very controllable. I mean, you put, it's so honest, it, yeah, it took, Whatever I put into it is what I got out of it. So I love these things. Let me know your thoughts, memories. Wilson Staff modeled Dynapower. It was out before I was born, but it's just hard to beat. So these feel amazing. If you wait till the end of the video, you'll see where I collected the data. I don't remember when it was. On the, on the footage, you'll see, because there's a date on the bottom there. It's like, you know, whatever, March or April, whatever of this year. You'll see when I collected the data, but either way, Stay tuned to the end for that. This hat needs to go. All right, I'm gonna to try to, so I have a golf bag right there. I'm gonna to try to land this on my driver, okay? It'll be my driver head cover. Let's see if I can, oh, I hit my driver, but it, I missed. All right, so I was, uh, I'm glad it just barely occurred to me I could have knocked over my whole bag. That would have been a loud clanking noise on screen. So this, I was holding off on making this video. I was like, e is it gonna be as good as I think it is? Because I don't know, and I'm not Arnold Palmer, right? And so I saw all the adjustments on his. I saw the holes drilled in it. And his name stamped on it, and I'm like, is, did he customize it because they're not good? But as it turns out, you know, they are really good. Just out of the box. Like this one, I, you know, I didn't feel like, oh, I need an extra 16 grams in the toe, and people are gonna be banging on their phones or their computer like vintage golfer you're not good enough to tell if you need an extra you're right i'm not i'm not a computer i'm not a robot but my strikes are all over the place i don't know if you can see there's just grass everywhere but yeah i mean this is an example of it's okay to meet your heroes because this didn't disappoint you know i everything about this was just like i am arnold palmer but you know how it is when you try to suppress that feeling but it felt good getting this out so absolutely one of the to me to me this is one of the like i don't want to say grail but this is one of those signature sets that really stands out above the rest and really put wilson on the map i mean they were already a really really good company but this kind of just solidified it i don't know if this was the peak of their their status because there was not much competition back here 
been the the brand Ben Hogan hadn't really established itself. And these were just so amazing. Their woods were laminate and okay. But these to me are just like one of the most desirable, interesting Wilson sets out there. And last time I checked, which was a while ago, you could still find sets of these at, you know, afford, at prices that I wouldn't mind going out and playing them. Again, I'm not going to be playing them every week, you know, just occasionally when I feel like a vintage set, I'll, I could take these out. Absolutely lovely. <sighs> Stunning. I can't see. Yes. Yes. Buy a BMW and make all the adjustments that you need. But this, I would buy it. I would not make adjustments. I would just leave it as is and just go enjoy a vintage set of Wilson clubs. Let me know your thought. Let me know your thoughts, memories, jokes about the Wilson Dyna-powered fluid field 1960 staff model irons. Oh, I absolutely love these. They're, they're, I, I'm keeping, I, I keep. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you want to support this channel in another way, you can visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. These irons are not available on that Amazon shop, but like I said, I am an Amazon associate and make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.